Hello, YouTube family. How y'all doing tonight? It was some topics that I wanted to do. And um, really the reason why I'm doing these topics is, is because it's like a lot of inspirational things around my job. And some things are getting ready to take place around my job where they're going to start taking things down. So before they take those things down, I would like to do some studying on these particular um, passages and things like that. So I will be reading tonight. And um, this is Galatians 5, 22 and 23. And this is the fruit of the spirit. But um, I know what the fruit of the spirit is because I learned what the fruit of the spirit is. But I want to break it down more in depth. So I'm going to read for y'all. And um, what this is, if you could bear with me, is freedom in Christ. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm. Then do not let yourself be burdened against a yoke of slavery. Mark my words. Paul tell you that if you let yourself be circumcised, Christ will be no value to you at all. Again, I declare to every man who lets himself be circumcised that he is obligated to obey the whole law. You are not trying to be justified by the law have been alienated from Christ. I'm going to read that again. You who are trying to be justified by the law have been alienated from Christ. You have fallen away from grace. For though the spirit we eagerly await by faith, the righteousness for which we hope. For in Christ Jesus neither circumcision nor uncircumcision has any value. The only thing that counts is faith expressing itself through love. We are running a good race. Who cut in on you to keep from obeying the truth? You are running a good race. Who cut in on you to keep you from obeying the truth? So basically, it's like you running and somebody cut in. You know what I'm saying? Who, who stepped in your life to stop you from obeying the truth is what it's saying. The kind of persuasion does not come from one who calls you. So this persuasion is not going to come from the most high. A little yeast works through the whole batch of dough. A little yeast works through the whole batch of dough. So a little bit of faith goes a long way is what it's saying. I am confident in the Lord that you will take no other view. The one who is throwing you into confusion, whoever that may be, will have to pay the penalty. So all the people that is not believing and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? See, God understands why you don't believe. God understands why you're going through what you're going through. God knows why you feel and see things the way you do. But it said, the one who is throwing you into confusion, whoever that may be, will have to pay the penalty. The Bible has not spoke to be a lie yet from what I saw. Brothers and sisters, if I am still preaching circumcision... Oh, man, it cut off on me, and it was getting good to me. Let me go back to it. I ain't going to let it even take me out like that, y'all. Eric said that means you're on a hot topic. A word on a hot topic. Oh, man. Eric, help me out here. I don't, I don't want to just, I was almost finished reading. Go to uh, Galatians 5, 22 and 3. Sorry so much, y'all. Please bear with me. It was getting good. I was learning as, as well as y'all was learning. And then, you know, I'm a firm believer when you when you got some good topics out there, them distractions going to come. But I don't never let them defeat me. So my son is uh, helping me look this up. It is um, Galatians 5, 22, and 23. Please bear with me. All right, here we go, y'all. Here we go. You got to defeat the enemy. So it says, okay, 
The one who is throwing you two in confusion, whoever that may be, will have to pay the penalty. Brothers and sisters, if I am still preaching circumcision, why am I being persecuted? In that case, the offense of the cross has been abolished. Um, as for those agitators, I wish they would go away and emasculate themselves. Let me see. You, my brothers and sisters, will call to be free. Do not let or use your freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather serve one another in, humbly in love. For the entire law was fulfilled in keeping the one commandment. Love your neighbor as thyself. If you bite and devour each other, watch out or you will be destroyed by each other. So if you devour each other, you're going to be destroyed by each other. So I walk by the, uh, the spirit. And not to gratify the desires of the flesh. For the fleshly desires is contrary to the spirit. And the spirit is contrary to the flesh. They are in conflict with one another. So that you are not to do whatever you want. But if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. The acts of the flesh are obvious. Sexual immorality, impurity, debauchery. Idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of anger, selfish ambition, distensions, factions, and envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I did before, that anybody who lives like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. But, as I'm getting to and what I spoke about before, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance. Kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the, the flesh with his passions and desire. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoked, and envying each other. So I want to end it there. I appreciate y'all, all y'all for viewing because there's some things that stuck out to me. I did not know. Well, I did know that, you know, people that are causing you to unbelieve and sowing discord in your life, you know, they have a penalty to pay. But I didn't know it was, it was so broad for God to say it in a sentence. So if you out there and you're doing something to somebody to make them lose faith, you may want to think about that. You may want to apologize and right your wrongs because you're not walking in the fruit of the Spirit. And if this happened in the past, if you're walking in the fruit of the Spirit now, you can correct those wrongs as long as you have the opportunity to. But I'll talk to y'all later.